Hello and welcome back everyone and if you are new first time here uh, please welcome so this is the series of AutoCAD 2021 and uh, today is our second class so if you are new here you can check out the first uh, video and uh, which is my class one and today is gonna be class two and if you uh, open the video one you're gonna find some uh, instruction where to get a, a like learner tutorial like a, a guidance how we can do it uh, so step by step so you need to go to visit my website to uh, download and uh, print it out or keep it somewhere next to you so you can see and we, you can follow all the step i'm gonna mention so it will help uh, you and me to understand uh, all right so today's video two uh, i'm going to open the file we last time uh, saved which was our first class and uh, we did uh, set up our workshop and crosser size uh, show menu bar bring toolbar setup and lock toolbar setup unit textile dimension style views and then we saved the file as a template so every time we, not, we don't want to open the card file and set it up like oh, everything eh, what we did in in fast video so what you're gonna do every time we open we're gonna use the file we saved every project we want to work we open the same file and make save as save as mean you know uh, the I, I mean I, I believe you guys <laughs> know what is save as is but uh, who don't know I'm just want to explain them so it's like you have your fast file which one you opened and now you want to keep everything as the first file and you want to save it is in a different name so you're gonna do save as and then you give it a different name and save it so I'm gonna open it give it a different name and then we're gonna start from there so here is class one this is my the first screen and uh, we can go to file and open the I, mean, I just want to show the different way to open it so you can go there if not like for example this is in my d drive and then autocad 2021 tutorial and here is class one i can double click to open it this is how it was uh done our last uh, video i mean the first one so i'm pressing ctrl shift s or we can go to file and go save as so i'm highlighting this save as so you can see ctrl shift s is there and you like I am I'm, I'm like asking you to practice on control shift s because this is the right way to do it so control shift s and class 2 so I'm pressing enter from my keyboard and it's saved as a class 2 you can see here D or to get 2021 tutorial class 2 this is how it is so wherever you save it it's going to show the drive name and then the address however you, you, you like you created those folders and the place you saved <laughs> okay so now uh, we do not need these now i'm going to show you how to select things you can just go there and click and click to select and press escape button from your keyboard which is in the keyboard left top corner and you can just click here and drag like this this is called windowing select and you just selected after select you can press delete from your keyboard it's gone and if you want to bring it back press uh, press and hold control and press z so uh, z mean z uh, so in canada say well, i'm in canada and some asian countries uh, people call it z, z and in united states we call it z so <laughs> you know the letter so i'm talking about this letter uh this one I, I hope you can see so now control z to bring it back and select and delete to delete so now it's clear right now we're gonna draw a line so open the file and draw a line now i'm gonna press l from keyboard l for line that's the command I want uh, like I'm gonna ask you <laughs> I'm gonna ask you to write it down uh, like a like a list of command and then you write L equal to line so whenever you like forget it you can go back and you can check that's the better way to like you know keep um, like progressing and you're gonna be professional 
very very soon just trust on yourself you can do it so l enter click and then just move like move your mouse around the line gonna be with you now if you look at the uh, the paper the paper i ask you to print so today's v2 main video 2 and uh, there are open the file open file and draw line then use f8 now use f8 mean f8 button from keyboard if you press it then the line going to be straight so if you not always you need the line is line i mean straight line you sometimes you need cross line so let's say click here and then you can go down and you, you want to go to this corner like here now you cannot find any like point here so you need to press if i believe uh sometime in autocad it's like at the beginning when you open it it's supposed to be this point like supposed to be selected but it's not selecting i i'm gonna press f3 from my keyboard so f3 this one for uh, the mm, the point like start point or, or mid point or end point selection I can click here and it's gonna be the line going to be so uh, end there but maybe I want to see it so if I want to see it I'm gonna press F8 which is going to be the line anyway I want to drag it or bring it so I'm gonna go there and click and enter so this was three line together and uh, we make this angle now we can make a lot of things with the line the AutoCAD is an art of line the, like this is the way when we learn <laughs> we learn AutoCAD in a, it is I mean AutoCAD is an art of line you can do a lot of things with arc and line and other stuff that's all in 2d and then you can make it 3d so now we're gonna draw another line L enter click so I'm pressing F8 and click and enter so now if we want to draw another line L enter we go there there is a point click and go there click and then enter then again press enter go to there click go below click and then enter so you're gonna practice like this you need to practice a lot about line because uh, it's simple it's very simple but not the first time if some if uh, anyone told you you're not gonna be familiar with it and don't give up just stay with me so L enter click click enter L enter click click and then enter L enter click move your mouse any any direction you want click and enter again just press enter command going to be repeat but you you need to practice with the letter so let's say l enter click 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 and then you can press c from your keyboard c enter c for close so this see this line came and close here so let's try different way l enter click click then click then click and then i'm gonna go there and click this is like for one way to close this box or anything you want to draw or a triangle now if you want to uh just uh, do it different way l enter click 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 and then press c enter c for close it's going to be uh close the line so if you want to note it if you can uh, take a note like to close a line you can press c but like if you try to close a line just here and there and now you press c it's not gonna close you have to be somewhere else and then there is a logic be like behind it so you can uh, bring it back and what you're gonna do if you want uh, the line go like uh, you wanna line bring this line here instead of going straight so you press f8 from your keyboard so here is f8 and i'm gonna i can go there or i can press c enter it's gonna close automatically so that was our line practice let's try again uh let's so you know how to use 
f3 and <clears throat> one more thing uh, that's uh, called object snap now let's say i want to draw a line l enter click f8 click enter so now i want to draw three vertical line one here I mean this is let's say this call start point or end point and this one another start point or end point and this is the midpoint it's not gonna change the name so let's say we draw draw the line from here to there so let's say this is start point this is end point now we're gonna draw a line L enter click here line is going straight let's say we bring it down you can take your mouse a little bit here or there it's, that doesn't matter but if you got too much this is the line gonna go the other way so bring it here click enter then you again press l enter click here bring it down enter then now you want to uh, draw a line on the center though so it's gonna bring out another logic behind it so l enter now we can't find the center point because this way this point first point or last point i mean both end point selecting no center point selecting you see no center so what are you gonna do we press escape escape to get out from the command now we're gonna go to uh, I'm gonna press OS from our keyboard. It's called OSNAP. OSNAP is when you uh, press OS, which is OSNAP, and it's gonna bring up object snap. So here's enter and drafting setting come up. So in the drafting setting, you see object snap on F3. So what are you gonna do? Here is the endpoint. It is the midpoint it is the center and lot other do not uh, select all of them a lot of newbies including me we we just we think okay select all is better no select all is not better because it's a different time a different thing you need so you're gonna come back here and select it and go back so it's not gonna like uh, put everything together and bother you when you're working so we're gonna choose uh, from right now just midpoint and we leave it default as it was so midpoint selected okay now l enter see the midpoint another try like a triangle a pyramid come up we can go this way we can go this way so bring it down enter i'm gonna show it again so you need to be like you will be confirmed so i'm gonna press uh no, sorry i'm gonna give the command o s enter I'm going to take out the midpoint and click OK. So L enter. I want the center point. The center point is not coming. So I'm going to go back, press, uh, type O, S, enter. The snap setting, uh, which is drafting setting, come up and object snap is on. And here is object snap modes. So what I'm going to do, press midpoint. Remember, midpoint need to select from here. OK. So now we can draw a line from any center point it's gonna be always give us center point see this this is how so let's keep it here and we're gonna draw a box with the line so L enter click 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 and you can go anywhere uh, well, like see this cursor size if it is full uh, like 100% then you can just align you almost you can see i mean i actually okay so zoom in and zoom out is your middle mouse button zoom in and zoom out uh, by your middle mouse button so and if you want to pan around you just press and hold your uh, middle mouse button the ruler the ruler have another point which is middle mouse point uh, like a button as we count so if you press it down it's gonna be panning panning around so just bring it here zoom in like uh, push the ruler to your monitor so it's gonna be uh, like bigger and if you want to make it smaller uh, uh, like roll the ruler to you toward yourself so it's gonna be zoom out and zoom in so zoom in and see make it as much align you can and click here and press c enter so this is a rectangle we are not doing with dimension we're gonna do it later and there is a command for rectangle we can do it later and now this was a box again l enter click click make it this way longer click and then click and then c enter so another box 
okay now do we gonna do one more l enter click 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 and then go there and click see it's not matching but we're gonna go click here the line is not straight so because we are doing it without dimension that's why it's not straight see a little bit open in the below so uh, what else uh, left we're gonna draw a stair with the line so if you draw, want to draw a stair you need to use the dimension otherwise it's gonna look ugly I'm actually panning around with my middle mouse power button so you need to practice it a little bit like this so you want to put it push it this way push it this way it's gonna be stay with you okay so now how gonna use the dimension so let's do with uh, start with the command L enter so a stair let's say we're gonna go this way and go down or we're gonna go up let's go up so I, I click I'm going to click here bring this way 10 because most of the stair uh, standard size in engineering department architectural department they do 10 inch clear so I mean clear 10 inch 10 enter go up up is 6 so this one in architectural language called thread and this one called rise so rise 6 enter you do not need to put inch because your unit is in inch if you want to put it in a feet then you're going to type it down like type feet which is next to your enter uh, button in your keyboard foot and inch there so now this way 10 enter go up 6 enter then go 10 uh, enter then go up 6 enter then go 10 enter then go 6 enter then go 10 enter then go 6 enter you need to just show the path like your mouse is just doing the path and your left hand just typing the command so 10 enter go up 6 enter go this way 10 enter go up 6 enter listen if you like be little your mouse is going right or left or down or up don't worry it's gonna be fine you need to do it couple of time and that's it do you remember when you start uh, like if you if you can ride a bicycle do you remember how many time you fall down the same way when you learn something you need to train your brain and believe me if i can do it you can do it so again 10 6 then go this way 10 then go this way 6 now let's say uh, this is the stair is done we, we, we should count the the steps uh, so let me count step 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and step number 9 right now we are so I'm going to make one more so 10 so this is 10 now I'm gonna go up 6 and bring the the landing so the place you go and then you turn around and go up so the landing is uh, let's say um, standard is four feet five six inch and we're gonna make it five feet now this is the place we're gonna use the five feet uh, we can do it two. Uh, I mean two different way one is I can press five and press uh, hold she not hold just pre uh, press the lem I mean the button of uh, feet is next to the enter which is here if you want inch then you hold uh, you need to hold the shift key and press uh, the same button so let's say this is five feet now you don't want to put five feet here let's say you just want f you know five twelve I mean one feet equal to twelve inch and five twelve is sixty inch I mean five times twelve is sixty so you can put just sixty and enter and then your stair is i mean is, is is done so just press enter or press escape what do you like so you can press just escape that's better enter sometime can make something like if you click there or something then it's gonna make something else so press escape so here you go this is your five feet line which is if you hold your uh, like cursor on that corner it, it's, it's gonna show you 
five feet it's very tiny I, I believe you're not gonna able to properly see it i'm recording it in 60 frame per second and uh, almost 4k but when you export it it's become like almost 500 uh, megabyte so <laughs> i don't want to very heavy file on the youtube now uh, those lines are separated like single lines we will do it in a different way it's a different command called polyline uh, polyline going to be in our uh, which number video three the next video you know the first thing is polyline we will do the same thing now uh let's uh, let's do what uh, after the steer we're gonna do extend okay so now what we're gonna do we're gonna draw a line here l enter l enter click here and bring it down like let's say six feet six and the feet from uh, the key next to the enter and then bring it this way go a little bit extra no problem or you can yeah go a little bit extra and just click without dimension and press enter so click and enter now we're gonna draw a line l enter from here to this line so now from here to the how, how much it it could be because we go over from beginning to end 666 so this way we can guess it's 12 inch so you're gonna press 12 i mean type 12 enter and escape so it's is is, is finished here keep it this line extra i don't want to go to another command to cut it down we can i can show you something so you can select the line click here and bring it back you can do that so the other uh, command is trim i don't want to use trim for now but okay now we're gonna try extend extend all these lines which is extend is a different than uh, like latest uh, last person of autocad the uh, last person of, of autocad is 2020 and you just uh, uh, just easily you can extend there was not uh, too much complicated and now a little bit complicated but it's very helpful you will understand when you like when you understand <laughs> this whole extending thing so now i want this line going to touch here and this line going to touch there so e x enter we need to put another command now that, that was not in 2020 until 2020 so press b for boundary you can see here on you can see here b for boundary b is blue color mean that's the command b so we i already press b and press enter now I'm selecting boundary I'm just clicking both line together you can click one by one like this and press enter now which line where I need to go I can just click here click here you can make windowing like this like this but for now no you are new so let's do it like this click 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 try not to click on this corner try click the corner you want to extend the way you the, you want to bring it this way let's say if you have another boundary line here and you click on this head it's gonna go touch there that's why the this is the one the way you want it from middle come down below click and then click and then click and click 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 and then click and then click so sometime your mouse when you playing uh, like everywhere with your mouse bringing here there your mouse sometime you need to like pick up your mouse and from the desk so just pick it up and move a little bit right or left and put it down and then again like bring it here and then take it up and go there and then bring it back so most of the time only i think in autocad people do that because when we work working from here to came there and then we need to bring the mouse there again you will understand uh, i mean maybe not now so this one was extend now we are still on the command that's why our the pick uh, the point picker is still showing so i'm gonna press escape from the keyboard and we come out with our regular scroll, crosser so this is how extend works so what we did 
we draw a couple of lines, couple of squares, and then a stair. I'm gonna I'm going to put it on the side and we're gonna draw uh, again one stair. So let's start with L enter. Click, go go this way, 10, enter, go up, 6, enter, go right, 10, enter, go up, 6, enter, go right, 10, enter, go up, 6, enter, go right, 10, enter, up, 6, enter, go right, 10, enter, go up, 6, enter, go 10, I mean go right, 10, enter, go up, 6, enter, go right, 10, enter, go up, 6, enter, go right, 10, enter, go up, 6, enter, then go, let's say, we don't know how much, how many we made, but let's say, th that's good, so, make it 5 feet, so, this time, I'm gonna make it 5, and then feet from here, instead of 60, enter, now, I'm gonna bring it down, or you just press escape from the keyboard that's your like stair now we try again the extend tool but let's say we're gonna try a different way extend okay so I'm gonna click I'm going to type L enter click go this way let's say uh, 10 feet feet from the keyboard which is next to the enter and and press enter and here is the when you your cursor is here and it's showing on the right side this point like you see make it like a circle and and some are like dimension on the below that means your end point is here so if you practice line a lot you're gonna find it easily um, let's practice few line again so you're not gonna be if you are not clear before then it's gonna be clear so l enter click go this way click enter so here's beginning and here's the end and midpoint already we selected now l enter click click enter l enter click then show which one you need to go and put dimension let's say four feet enter press another enter line going to be disconnected so l enter click show which way you want to go put dimension 5 feet press enter press first enter for like this line is done another enter to exit from the command and if you press again enter the command will be repeat and another way you can uh, repeat the command right click and go repeat line and then click and go down type like 3 feet enter and if you, if you want to continue bring it this way uh, how much was the first line I think 5 feet so put 5 feet enter then go up and you can just press C enter for close oh god actually I started line from here now let's try again L enter click go this way 4 feet enter go down 3 feet enter go this way 4 feet enter then I want to just close it so C enter this is the 100% like a box the li all line are straight now I want to draw two cross line how are we gonna draw L enter click here I can go and click here forcefully the line will come but press F8 so you're gonna feel I you can see it easily F8 and just you leave the release the mouse and go and press F8 you can do it and then bring it here and click here enter then press again enter or let's try l enter and click here click there and enter so your box is complete now dimension we're not gonna uh, we will check the dimension actually after that so make some extend and then we will do it so let's say we're gonna draw some line uh, first we're gonna draw a box so L enter click uh, press F8 okay I pressed F7 by mistake so let's say 10 feet 10 feet enter 
bring it down let's say again 10 feet enter then you bring it this way 10 feet enter and then C enter so it's close now we're going to draw some line here L enter just without dimension click click the keyboard sound and I was pressing enter again and again so press L enter click click enter again enter for command repeat command click click enter so mean L L uh, actually let's say L enter click click then L enter click click so here you go <coughs> now you want to extend those lines and touch this outlines so those are the boundaries so you press uh, you type e x for extend enter so for boundary b enter select these two and select these two see how I, I select also you can select like this so e x enter select this three oh no so e x enter actually is gonna go there so we need to press b b enter and then we can select this three line together and then you need to make two clicks so <laughs> there are no other way so you select the form all the boundaries and press enter and then you just touch these lines and click and i'm just clicking and bringing the, the cursor crossing the line and here and here this is this was extend now today today's video I believe you learned this is I actually zoom out and I'm showing you also you can no I'm not gonna go to another uh, commander for for now well, let's go according to the note so first we open the file and draw the line a lot of line we draw then we uh, learned how to use f8 and then object snap and then we draw a lot of line then we draw box with lines then we st draw stair with lines and then we learn extend that was the first part of this video and now second part which is dimension so let's try dimensions dimension practice dimension add new dimension edit dimension change text uh, change text size arrow size I, I think we are being late this video gonna be too long and you guys, you guys going to be bored <laughs> okay so dimensions uh, practice dimension now I believe you remember we made these lines 10 feet so let's try how to check the dimension now we have here dimension you see it's called linear you can click this one bring it here click and go there click and go little up so it's showing 10 feet I zoomed in so you can see and see you see this this arrow is very very baby so you're gonna make it a little bigger so let's make it bigger fast so you're gonna press D from your keyboard D enter D for dimension style now you're gonna go to the modify I believe I, I showed you at the beginning here is few things so here is symbol and arrow now the arrow is zero feet zero inch and point uh, uh, select it and press two and press enter and then you click ok and then close it so your arrow going to be two inches long and we can make this size this team this one bigger we can do it later first uh, let, let us learn like how to use dimension now we're gonna click here and then I'm gonna go there select this point you do not select here you select here and then you select here and then you click here now you can press enter to repeat the command but you did not learn uh, yet the command for dimension style which is DLI D L I enter click click and click so how are you gonna do that D L I for dimension dim liner so we're gonna say it dim line my dimension but which is the command name is dim liner so D L I enter go to any point click there and then go to an another point click there 
and then drag it right left but you cannot take it top or, or, or I mean up or below so make it on the side here you go 10 feet on uh, all around like uh, four side now what we're gonna do we're gonna try uh, some like other dimension which is we're gonna click it here just you can hold here and drag it down you can do it so all right so we want another dimension we're gonna we're gonna create another dimension style which is this one is two inch and this uh, arrow is also two inch we want a uh, smaller like sometime when you are working in a, in a project you need various uh, type of dimension style someone you sometimes you want to show something bigger sometimes you want to show something smaller so what you're gonna do you need to learn how to create a dimension style so you do not need to modify these things uh, again and again so let's uh, start going format going to the format click on the format go to the textile and we're gonna create a new texture here which is new name is uh, one space i n c h and then press ok and uh, here is the one inch you see one inch selected height is one inch the text height is one inch and press apply and then close so now if you click on the format go to the dimension style one inch is there close it click format go to the text style one inch is there now we're gonna go to the dimension style so D enter one inch is there go to the modify and see if everything all right so see the text size and height is still two inch if you draw it's gonna be two inch now you're gonna go to from the standard you're gonna select one inch so this one you changing dimension one thing and textile is another thing but when you work you're gonna combine together so you need to change dimension style and the textile at the same time so sometime you need the dimension style is like is different than textile I I take uh, uh, like it take for me to learn by myself a, a long time and a lot of uh, correction not yet available in the Google because those people who work on this field they are extremely busy <laughs> they don't have time much anyway so textile is selected one inch and I'm gonna press OK and let's say set current otherwise the standard gonna come up so set current and close now if we draw another like line here the text gonna be smaller than this so press D L I which is our dim liner enter I'm gonna click here and click on the center and bring it here so you can see this one is this 5 is double on the 10 so now this arrow also smaller if you go to this corner this one one inch this one two inch this one two inch this one one inch okay so I believe I want to be I don't want to make the video is too long so let's say if you don't get it first time you can go back and watch again the, I'm mean, just go to a little bit uh, reverse and you can, you can find it that's it uh, uh, that was our dimension and practice dimension add new dimension edit the new dimension change text and size and arrow size so that's it for now this video is uh, I think more than half an hour uh, I hope I didn't make you guys bored and uh, enjoy your rest of your day or night and uh, have fun and we'll see you on our next video bye for now I'm just saving it and, and closing it save and uh, close